Hello and welcome. If anyone asks me what is the best way to learn any new programming language or any new skill, any new JavaScript framework, I would say just build a practical application that you are you have always wanted to build. I bet you the amount of projects, the amount of volunteer and free projects I have built for people is more than 100 now. But the thing is most people do not take action that's why they cannot learn so many things like if you want to learn something just find an idea and build something with the skill you want to learn if you do not build anything with the skill you have you will never learn it like you watch the video and you do not work on it it is useless trust me if you are just watching my tutorial and not working i would tell you stop watching because it does not have any effect on you when you go to the work when you find any job all you can do is you build a practical application like on that time you will face so many problems and you will come to know like how much you can learn when you build something practical in this video we will start creating our um, e-commerce platform this in this video i will create the fresh view application using view cli and in the next video we will start customizing it so if i press shift in the view directory here i can go to the powershell here and then we can start using view create and I can give the name for our application as a view shop basic and simple I will upload the code the source code for the project on github you can see what whatever I have written also for this project I am going to use firebase as the backend uh, for authentication uh, as well as some other stuff using firebase in the beginning of the video I said I will use firebase or AWS I will tell you the reason in future video why I didn't pick AWS and I pick firebase and some of the advantages on on firebase and AWS all of these things I will talk in the future video so for the presets we have basic which is good we have personal which is also good we have default which is also good but what I am going to do is I am going to stick with the basic because we will, we will need the view router we will need the sas compiler but the bible the bible or bible i don't know what how you pronounce that the eslin for the error handling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press enter for the basic and it will create my application so it will take a few seconds to install it is done now so if i scroll down what we can do is we can cd to the view shop and we can run npm run serve and it will serve the server for us and we can open it in the browser now i will open the browser and you you know it will by default open that in the port specify here if you are connecting to the same wireless or the same network you can open your application in your mobile or any other device which is connected to the same router or the wi-fi you have for using the network one so for us it is going to be in port 127.0.1 and here is our application so this is the basic uh, the next thing you can do is you can come here right click open it in the visual studio code and you can start writing your code the first thing i am going to do is i am going to disable eslin of course i am not going to uh, i don't want to receive error for adding more tab adding more space stuff like that so i will disable the eslin but i will show you best practice for writing code and if you get any error feel free to show me i will show you how you can disable those stuff so here is one file we have eslint so i will create another file here called eslint ignore i think it was eslint ignore so what we can do is we can go to the basic project here yeah here eslint ignore i will come back and I'll paste it here. Now we will not receive any error from ESLint. So ESLint is ignored and I don't want to receive those errors. So beside that, this is ready for us to start. I will commit my first commit here, of course, and I will push the code on GitHub. You will see and any changes. When you watch the video, just come to the GitHub code if you have any problem. So I hope it has been informative for you. The basic is starting. In the next video, we will start customizing our application.